What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to take a look at the update 1.1.2 that has just dropped giving us extra vault space and raid fixes and PvP patches etc etc. Now if you guys want to read through the full update yourselves I will link it in the video description so you guys can do so. I'm just going to read through it and show you guys what I can, what has come with this update so getting straight into it now i'm stating bungie right here with this update we're responding to player feedback and addressing larger issues that compromise the quality of the destiny experience spotlight improvement and additions vault capacity increased to 24 armor slots 36 weapon slots and 24 general slots disabled gear comparison in vault on xbox 360 and ps3 platforms to account for additional slot memory colorblind support added for highly color driven gameplay elements motion tracker loot drops shield energy and item categories Audio controls are now available in the settings menu, volume control and music toggling. This will allow you to turn up and down the music and game volume, allowing you if you do record your fighting for YouTube videos, you will be able to adjust the background sound and make your teammates louder. Great for us YouTubers it really is. Item lock now allows players to prevent gear and weapon items from being accidentally dismantled. The purple ball has been reborn in the tower as an interactive sphere with a parallax energy core that grows with object velocity and tints based off time of day. Weapons fixed a bug that caused a player to lose ammo when switching weapons while dead. Fixed the bug why ammo consumables did not reliably replenish ammo. Pocket Infinity behaviour is less likely to fail during edge case conditions. Fourth horseman weapon stats restored to original intended values. Perks. Updated Fawn's first person flare feedback poison effect. White nail perk no longer triggers on immune targets. Defensive reflex don't touch me perk no longer triggers on throwing knives. Performance bonus ammo on fusion rifles reduced to match shotguns and sniper rifles. Fixed an issue introduced in 1.1.1 that allowed Icebreaker to persist ammo after respawn. In the world, players can now choose to wear their helmets in social spaces. Added quest indicator badges to the tower when a quest is either completed and ready to turn in. Increased Crotus Bane reputation rewards on Eris Morn's bounties. Fix the bug where Major Fools had two jaws and two left hands. What the fuck? Fix the bug where players equipped items did not receive experience from completing missions. Fix the bug where the Black Garden level 32 featured story was incorrectly listed as a level 28. Fix the bug where heavy ammo consumables were not available for purchase from Xur. Cerberus Vey 3, Valas Truarch strength has now been reduced by 33% to reduce the number of major combatants in the Valas Truarch fight. Raise the Vault of Glass. The Vault of Glass will no longer display a highlighted activity notification despite players' best efforts to remove it. Fixed a bug where splash damage could penetrate Aegis Bubble. Shield Relic melee attacks now land monitors more consistently. Improved issues associated with walking through the teleport. Crota's end. Crota will now wait until fully standing before a sword attack. Fixed the bug where the sword immediately despawned after killing a sword bearer. Swords will now last a full 30 seconds after being picked up. PvP greatly reduced the weighting of Blind Watch and Firebase Delphi in Control, Iron Banner and Inferno Control playlists. Fixed the bug where a player that was killed by an enemy could commit suicide and be revived for points. Fixed the bug that prevented players from receiving points for neutralising a control zone. Fixed the bug where capture points were not properly disabled after the game ends. Added incremental revive timers to skirmish and salvage. Each time a teammate revives you, it takes longer before you can be revived. Currently, plus five seconds each revive. Stopping power now requires shotgun kills instead of sprees. Target practice now requires hand cannon kills instead of sprees. Electrocutioner now requires fusion rifle kills instead of sprees. Maps anomaly added visual physics over pool table to keep people from hiding. Shores of time added kill volume to the open edge of a cave to keep players from hiding. The burning shrine moved the spawn to fixed camera view. 
ammunition crates are now visible for all players long before they are available to pick up with a countdown timer added to show when they will arrive guardians no longer drop special ammo on death lowered the amount of special ammo picked up from crates from 50 percent to 25 special ammo crate respawn time raised from 45 seconds to 120 seconds increased the radius when a friendly picks up a special crate from 20 meters to 100 meters slightly increased interaction time on special ammo crate from 0.1 seconds to 0.8 seconds reduced the number of special crates on the maps and relocated them from 6 to 8 crates to 3 to 5 crates special and heavy ammo bricks now despawn when a player dies or on a timer 20 seconds for special 30 seconds for heavy heavy ammo now lets everyone know which player or faction picked up ammo Increased warning time on heavy ammo from 10 seconds to 15 seconds. UI, new visual treatment to quest nodes and nodes that involve quest activities or steps. Players can now click the left stick to hide UI when inspecting items for screenshotting and sharing purposes. Fix the bug where precision kills did not appear correctly in their PGCR. UI flyouts are now easier to navigate, i.e. Amazon flyout menu. Audio fixed an issue where stealth random audio was being suppressed by gunfire or other loud sounds. Titan Ward of Dawn now has audio indicators at low energy so players can more easily read when it will time out. Players walking into enemy Ward of Dawn now hear a sound when blindness is applied. Companion fixed issue where combined arms grimoire card was pointing to the wrong unlock conditions. Fixed issue where grimoire cards were awarding the incorrect number of grimoire points. Technical fixed a rare soft lock when a player's internet connection drops. Clarified error that displays when user has insufficient hard drive space. Better handling of rest mode resume on PS4. So that is the complete 1.1.2 update. The major things for me here are vault space. Um, extra vault space is a must for me. I get so much of the shit. Some of the PvP changes are massive also. I may do an actual video of me playing PvP and showing you guys the effects of that. So stay tuned for that. But guys, let me know your opinion on this update down below in that comment section. Thanks for stopping by as always and peace out until next time. Peace.